<laughs> well, sir, out in the woods one day, a hare was bragging. Bragging about how fast he could run. Fastest runner in the woods I am, let me tell you. Once I was out just practicing around, ducking through the trees and hopping over logs, when a fox started to chase me, oh, did I show him up. And then, a dog almost ran over me, but did I leave him behind? You know, I can outrun any animal. I dare anyone to race with me. The goose thought I wouldn't care to. Neither would I, thought Skunky. The fox had nothing to say. I guess the hare's the champ, said the rooster. Well, sir, up spoke an old tortoise. You make me tired, Mr. Hare. I'm not afraid. I'll race you, and I'll win. Why, said the hare, you awkward old box on flippers, I've a mind to snip your nose. Why, sure, I'll race you. The hare went over to the owl. Listen, Mr. Owl, that silly tortoise wants to run a race with me. Won't that be an easy one to win? Well, maybe, said the owl. Maybe, cried the hare. Why, that tortoise is so slow he barely crawls. I could eat half the day and start when he's nearly finished and stop to take a nap and still beat him across the finish line. Oh, ho, look who's here. What can I do for you, Mr. Tortoise? I'll tell you, the tortoise said. That hare over there made me tired with his bragging, and so I dared him to race with me. Now, I'm not so fast, but I'm steady and sure. I may start slow and I may finish slow, but I'll keep going. Said the owl, you're a funny one to run a race, but... May the best man win. The owl asked the fox to lay out a course for the race. Make it hard, he said. First, they'll run along this path, thought the fox, underneath this tree. Mm-hmm. And now where? Ah, past this clump of tall grass, and through this hollow log, and over these rocks and past the roots of this fallen tree. That's pretty tough for racing, but the owl said, make it hard. And now where? Ah, I know. I know the very place. I'll have them go across this brook under the waterfall. Oh, this will be good. If the hare slips, he'll fall in and get a soaking. And the tortoise is bound to get a bath. And next we need a good place for their last run down to the finish. Very good, very good. Yes, this will do nicely. Now, down between these big trees, and we'll end the race. Let's see, uh... Oh, right here at the root of this fallen tree. That's it. All this time, the hare was getting ready for the race, cleaning up his paws, trimming his nails, sleeking back his whiskers. And the tortoise, too, was getting ready, but he was putting down a solid meal, mouthful after mouthful of his favorite grass. The hare gave great care to getting his big hind legs ready, sure that he would win the race. And finally, everything's ready. The fox will start them off. The tortoise digs his feet into the ground, on your marks, get set. Go, barks the fox, and they're off. Off goes the tortoise. Yes, he's off, but to tell the truth, he isn't exactly speeding along just yet. The hare sits still a moment, then he's off. Away past the rock and the grass, zipping through the forest. The tortoise is left far behind already, but his legs are working better. This may look silly to everyone else, he thinks, but I just couldn't stand the way that hare bragged. Look at that white tail flash. What a one-sided race. 
Now, here comes a real test, going through the hollow log. Oh, how easy this is. Already he's halfway. The fox is waiting to be sure the runners stay on the course. And here comes Mr. Hare, far in the lead. Looks like the race is no race at all. But wait a minute. The tortoise is really going now, straight and true down the course. Ah, but the hare is fast, slithering along over the brook and away. And the poor plodding tortoise is only now coming to the hollow log, up and inside, and on to the other end. Now, if he could only hop away. Uh-oh. Well, it's all in the game. But I'm going to beat that high-kicking hare, he thought, if it's the last thing I do. And so the tortoise went steadily along. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And the fox heard him coming. Well, thought the fox, the hare is far ahead. But I'll say one thing, that tortoise isn't going to give up. He's still in the race. But that's not what the hare thought. By this time, he felt very safely in the lead. He couldn't imagine that the tortoise would keep on plodding along so steadily. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And so the foolish hare fell fast asleep. I'm going to catch that hare, thought the tortoise, if it takes all day. But the fox could have picked out an easier course. I'm not built for hopping over rocks and roots. Well, let's see what's this ahead of me. Well, I'll get along somehow. Now, wait a minute. Oh, that's not helping my nose. A good thing I've got a hard shell. And still the foolish hare slept on and dreamed of winning. And still the tortoise followed. And now he comes right up to the stream under the waterfall. He comes right up to the stream and down the bank and onward into the water. Ah, very cooling and pleasant. Good for my aching feet, thought the tortoise. But I mustn't stop. I must, I must go on. Right, left, right, left. By this time, the silly hare was sound asleep indeed. And that is why he did not hear the shell of the tortoise scraping past nearby for his long ears were folded back as he dreamed of nibbling a crispy carrot after winning the race. And now at last, the tortoise can see through the limbs of a fallen tree, all the animals waiting for the finish, Judge Owl perched above them, the fox watching sleepily, tired of waiting. There's something, whispered the goose, something funny about this race. Judge Owl, with eyes wide open, sees something coming toward him down the course. It cannot be the hare. He is still enjoying his nap. It's the tortoise, the clumsy fellow they said didn't have a chance. But here he is, he's nearing the line. Will he win after all? Now the raccoon is a friend of the sleeping hare. He must go find him at once. Find out what is the matter. Down out of his tree hurries the raccoon. Down to the ground, he finds the sleeping hare. Wake up, sleepyhead, wake up. You're going to lose if you don't hurry. Oh, what speed. Swiftly down toward the finish line. But you're too late, my friend. The tortoise is already across. The tortoise wins the race. Well, said the goose. Well, my high-stepping friend, perhaps you can explain. Oh, alas, the hare sighed. If only I hadn't stopped to take a nap. Said the owl, we can learn something from this. A tortoise beating a swift running hare. It's plain to me that the race is not always to the swift. 
And perhaps our friend the hare has learned this lesson.